Hello. <laughs> um, I have another prediction. I've been getting these dreams for a while now. Um, I'm from San Francisco. And um, I remember, well, I was a kid. It was right after my birthday, the October 17th earthquake. Um, I was a kid at the time and, um, it was my 13th birthday. Well, anyway, um, my family had poisoned me. They threw me a surprise party and, um, I really was the only person there. And I remember being really, really sick afterwards. For a few days and um that tuesday because it was friday the 13th my birthday was on saturday that saturday i saw a black cat very significant um familiar um so that tuesday was the earthquake I kept getting visions of the bridge collapsing, like being on the bridge and something happening. Um, I've been having that repeatedly, but it's been more prevalent lately. And the last one I had was my brother um, was working on the bridge because he works on the bridge where he works on bridges. He's... um. Like the tow service, you know, when you break down, they come and pick you up. So anyway, he was on the bridge. The bridge flooded. What's my dream? Like I saw water on the bridge. It flooded. And I'm like, I had other dreams where we're driving and the bridge collapsed and you fall into the water. I've had other dreams where me and my family were driving on the bridge, like on the rail part. My husband fell asleep. I mean, literally, it's the bridge. And um, I don't know. I'm having visions. I think it's going to repeat. And I don't see that bridge surviving. I don't really see most of the West Coast, especially San Francisco, surviving. I know it sounds crazy. Nobody ever thought San Francisco could have a tsunami or any of that or water reaching that high or whatever I'm seeing. I thought I was crazy, <laughs> but I'm starting to realize, you know, and um, Beyonce is gonna perform here in uh, August. I think ritual is being done, just being honest. And it's connected to flood. It's connected to storms. After that icy park came out, Texas froze. The New Orleans thing in the water, it's symbolism, it's rituals, it's something. But there's going to be a flood this year. There's going to be a tsunami, something with water, and it's connected to that bridge. And I'm seeing water just flowing on the bridge. Not flowing into the bridge, flowing on the bridge, like washing it away. I, I don't, I don't know. And I don't know what that connection is because I was born there. I do know is there is some type of destruction and a cleansing 
and um, it has something to do with chosen people. There's a lot of lies and deception. There's stolen land, stolen jewels, stolen money. There's a lot more to the story. And it's rituals. I mean, come on, people who, by now, if you don't believe in rituals, magic, or any of that other stuff by now, or illusions and all, then that means you're still asleep. <laughs> that means The Wizard of Oz is just a movie to you, and you're not catching consciousness and all the nonsense going on around you. Spelling. Like, you're not catching that words have different meanings different spellings but sound the same rain 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 over rain I mean it's it's something it's flood it's ritual it's connected and um, I'm gonna come on and do more predictions and tell you more about my visions and my dreams um, whatever's revealed to me, but, um, I do know is there's going to be a natural disaster and it's going to involve water and New Orleans is going to seem like a walk in the park compared to this national, this natural disaster. And I think what's going to cap it off is an earthquake. And um, they've been hinting it because they need these rituals. Because they're trying to block off what's really going on and who's really coming. And what they really did to get this land and who they really killed and what's really going on. Because like I said, a lot of us were not born here. We were sent here. And we were sitting here for a time like these, for times like these. And uh, people want you to think we're all equal and we're all the... That's nonsense. And I think people are starting to wake up to that. Because we're not all human. We're not all the same. We're not all the same color. And our color doesn't determine our spirit and who we really are. And I think people need to understand this, this vessel that you're in. Is your spaceship. <laughs> um, if you kind of haven't figured that out by now. You, maybe you're still asleep. You're Cypher. You're eating the steak. <laughs> and you know. That it's not a real steak. It tastes good. <clears throat> you know it tastes good. But you know it's not a real. It's. Uh, there is no spoon. There is no spoon. <laughs> I mean, there is no spoon. Hello. This is, um, this is time. It's time. And I think a lot of us know that, um, it's something, something more going on. And they want you to fear this alien invasion. They do all these movies. Oh my God, the green man is coming. The Hulk ain't coming to stand in front of you. The Hulk probably long existed a long time ago. That's where they got the story from. Because every story they tell you had to come from somewhere. Think about that. You think these people just came up with this stuff. You think, you think George Lucas just woke up one day and just said, oh, let me, come on now. You know, these are ancient stories. These are others. It's, it's all connected to the spoon does not exist. And what you think an alien looks like is not what you, an alien he is. He 
because why would I be an alien and look different from you? Then you would know I'm an alien. Then you would attack me. They're already attacking black people and melanated people because they're different. Just like if black people go to some place and the people are different and they want to conquer, they're going to attack the, the people that aren't them. I mean, not to be racist or say it's all racism. No, that's not what I mean. What I'm saying is people attack things that are different, things that they're scared of. And if there are aliens here, why would they look different? Like E.T., knowing that you're going to put them in a shell in a box and kill them. Or study them and carve them up. In them. Come on. That's stupid. Like I said to you, we are all different. We're not all human. We were not all born here. A lot of us were sent here. A lot of us have to come through that silver gate, that womb. I'm learning that. We came through the womb. And in order to be on this realm, you had to come through the ultimate womb. That first womb. Was black. Sorry, it's just the truth. It was a melanated womb. Because there is no white woman that can create a baby that looks like me. It's impossible. But I can make a baby that looks like her. I mean, it's the absolute truth. So I think we need to stop and ask ourselves the original person had to have been an alien. Had to have come here, created, evolved, made sure the atmosphere was livable, especially to have offspring. I mean, that's just logic. Think about it. When you move into a new neighborhood, you want to make sure that it has stuff that is going to be comfortable, not only for you, but for your children. You want to check the schools. You want to make sure there's not a crime. You're checking it out. It's a cycle. There's nothing new. Everything is redone right now. Because it's a cycle. Just like I told you. The Hulk story comes from another story. Whoever those people are. They have already existed. The Egyptians showed you the green man. He's on the walls. The individual existed with that green skin. They depicted it for you. You think because they didn't show it in a movie that it's not real. They carved it in stone. What do you think movies are? It's just modern day pictures. Nothing is new. There is no spoon. So why would an alien be any different from you? Wake up, people. There is no spoon. And like Cypher said, I know this thing doesn't exist. It's good, though. He's chewing it. So it has to be real, right? <laughs> Anyway, I'd have to say this. We're going to have a very, very big natural disaster. The people in charge 
need that. They need to spook you with this alien invasion and all this other stuff. And, and they want to do all this because they want you to be scared. They want everybody to be, oh my goodness, oh the movies, we're going to have the day after tomorrow, it's going to free. They want you guys to think that. They want you to fear it. When I say don't fear this planet is going to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to clean its atmosphere. It's going to get rid of anything that is harmful to it. Because it is meant to recycle itself. To live. And if there's viruses on it. That are polluting it. And destroying it. This planet is going to correct that. <laughs> it's just it's only natural. Just like in your womb. Unfortunately, if the baby is toxic to the mother or the mother's body is rejecting whatever's in her stomach or complications or something is wrong, the body's going to expel that foreign object because the body's not recognizing what's in its womb. Doesn't mean that the mother doesn't love the baby. It doesn't mean that the baby is bad. It just means that there is some type of cleansing. Something is not meant to pass through. It has to cleanse itself. The earth is like a womb. And there's a lot of bad things on here. There's a lot of things here that should not be here. That is polluting it. And there needs to be some type of cleansing. And you have a lot of people here doing rituals. So there's a lot of sacrificing going on. And yes, they still sacrifice. That's how they appease the entities that they live through. And they want to make you fear aliens and the unknown and all this other stuff. And the truth of the matter is you should be fearing the ones that are trying to sacrifice you to whatever they believe in. That know that there is no spoon. But they're making you fear that spoon. So I say, real recognize real. The Bible says, those who know his voice, they will hear his call, right? I don't know what verse that is because my mind has gone blank, but... You know your father's voice. You know when the Most High is telling you what's what. Who he's calling, who he's speaking to. Because he knows, she knows, the divine being who is all of us. We're all connected because it gave birth to us. It spoke into us it sent some of us and I'm saying it in a respectful way because there is no gender it's a spirit it's a divine source it's what we're all connected to it's how this cycle keeps going it's how the sun knows to come up in the morning it's how the flowers know when to grow because a new year has started. It's all connected. And we're not going to call a flower an alien, are we? Because aliens wake up every day just like you do. But like I said, they want you to fear so much. They want you to live in fear. Because the rituals they're doing is fed through your fear. 
especially fear of the unknown, fear of what they've told you, and fear of what they've shown you. Not true. Not true at all. There are divine beings walking amongst us. And they don't all look like what you think they look like. They're not all, oh, you know, they're not all E.T. vote out. You're like, come on, stop. Seriously. <laughs> but they're also not going to come looking like Barbie. Oh, my goodness, Barbie. Like, they're, you're not going to know. And the divine is not going to send you what you think he's going to send you because it's a test. He wants to see who knows his word, who's going to keep his word. Who's going to do the right thing? Who's going to have that Christ mindset? Not the fake die on the cross and all that stuff they want to make y'all believe. I'm talking about that mindset, that frequency. Where even if you know it's a savior or not, how are you going to treat them? Are you going to feed them? Are you going to clothe them? Are you going to kill them? Are you going to steal from them? Are you even going to listen? Are you going to hear my voice through them? Are you going to see me through them? Because they're not going to look like what you think they look like. But you're going to be able to hear my voice through them. If you're my people. Because you're in that womb. That womb. <laughs> Will you recognize that this is a foreign object or will you recognize that you're being created that you're in the creator's stomach on this planet are you going to understand that two 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 twenty two twenty two The universe speaks in numbers and frequencies. I'm starting to realize that. They do rituals to it. Why do you think they fill stadiums up and have you screaming? <sighs> and yelling and mad. Man, my team lost. They need that energy. They need that frequency. Because it's a conjuring. I'm sorry, I got bit. And you can see it. I got bit twice. Like, it's a conjuring. It is. It's ritual. Magic. Whatever you want to call it. These are warlocks and witches. Whether you want to believe it or not. They made you believe in aliens. You don't believe that there's witches and warlocks? There's people who believe in the devil but don't believe in the creator? Who do you think created the devil? You think this is air you're breathing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have put some makeup on, but I'm still in the bed. But the truth of the matter is, I keep having these visions. And like I said, some of us were not born here, we were sent. I'm not saying we flew it in a plane or a spaceship. I'm not saying that because our bodies are the spaceships is our <laughs> anyway um wake up your spirit to get to this room has to go has to have a coating has to be covered has to get here somehow like a spaceship space when you're in it you you're able to travel so this body you go into it you need it to be on this physical realm. How else are you going to know that this is a steak? Then it tastes good. <laughs> How would you have that experience? <laughs> if you're not traveling in a spacesuit. <laughs> 
I'm, just, I'm laughing because I can picture the movie when he was eating that steak. And I said to myself, how many people would have done what he did and sold out everything to have that steak? Even though they knew it wasn't real. And I look at people, and including my life, where people literally have sold their souls to steal money. I've seen my own family literally try to murder people, murder me, kill people, steal. I mean, just literally destroy everything about them so they can sit there and have that cipher moment. They know that's not real. And that's really what Christ was trying to tell you. It's this mindset, this frequency I'm on is worth more than the physical of what you see. But these witches and warlocks made you think it's about that cross when it was about that mindset. Because Jesus was a teacher. He was a magician. He was a a what? He did magic. How else can you turn water into wine? Can you say it with me? Hmm. Some of us were sent. He was a music. He was a music, not musician. I can't say it. My my mouth won't let me say it, so maybe I shouldn't say it because <laughs> I'm being stopped. <laughs> but how else can you bring the dead back to life? In order for Moses to believe that he was talking to, I am. The great I am. He told him. I'll show you. Take that head. And put it in that breastplate. Put it in there. And when he pulled that hand out. It was white as snow. How could that happen. If he was already white. Why would he be. Surprised. <laughs> if he was already Caucasian. Pale. Sorry, but let's be honest, if he was already pale and white, why would that shock him? It would shock you more if you was black as night or black or even green. And I put that hand in there and I pull it out and I'm a whole opposite color of what I am. I'm going to be like, what the? You would think that was magic, right? But it's signs and wonders to me. If I take something and divide it, take a few things, divide it, and I multiply it in your face, and you wonder where all this comes from. Is that not magic? If I die on a cross, you bury me and I come back in a few days. <clears throat> Is that not magic? So he was an ascended master. It's not about the death ritual that they want you to see, drink the blood, eat the bread. Very vampiric, right? The signs and wonders was he walked among them and majority of them looked past him. But the ones who understood heard him. They understood that he was a teacher. He was a pastor. He was trying to raise their frequency. He was trying to change things. Get them to see a different perspective. That there is no spoon. This is illusion.
if he was just like them, regular like them, how would he be able to show them the difference? Someone would have called him an alien. Where did you come from? How did you do that? Why are you different? He was so different that they wanted him dead, right? Didn't I just tell you at the beginning of the video? They kill what is different. They kill what they're afraid of. So you ask yourself, why would an alien come here? Green. In a big spaceship. And do all this alien stuff that they show you on the movies and do all that when that's what would get them killed. They would, that's what start a battle. <laughs> they would never be able to have contact with you or to teach you anything because the fear would overtake you. Why do you think they pump so much fear in you? So he's going to stand in the White House and scare everybody and they're going to come in and take over and they're going to they gonna shoot their beams down on us. And No. When they had an alien amongst them explaining to them how things should be. That you don't have to sacrifice people and animals to please the divine. What you're pleasing is demonic spirits when you eat that bread and drink that wine. In that way, that's a ritual. That's what that is. When he was simply telling you to raise your frequency, raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. He was telling you the same thing that, that, <laughs> that was told in the old times. The 42 laws of my heart. Same thing. Don't steal. Don't kill your neighbors. Don't kill your parents. <laughs> Don't murder your brother for his wife. Don't go to war unnecessarily and murder people. You can protect yourself and protect your home. But you don't have to wipe out a whole village full of women and children. When it's time to battle, the Most High is going to tell you what you're battling for. That people should be able to eat. That life is a birthright. Do the right thing even when you think nobody's watching. Hey, don't rape kids. Like, how hard is this? Don't suck up all the resources and then charge people to get water. Why do you think the Ascended Master was turning over tables? This wasn't about raising your vibration. This wasn't about doing the right thing, being better. That was about collecting money. Which money is energy. This is That was about material. It was about Overcharging people for stuff. Charging people to hear the word of God. Or the word of the most high. Whoever you believe in. Now if he came in a green suit. And antennas. Would y'all have heard that message? If he came in as the king's son. The poor people are like, what are he talking about? He ain't never, he ain't never had to even clean a table or wash a floor. But he came in like you. He came in with his hands dirty. He came from the bottom. He came in 
as something that wasn't a part of them, but looked like them. Plain sight. Moses. Plain sight. They didn't, Moses gave himself away when he killed that man who was trying to hurt somebody that was like him. That's what gave him away. Is he was not going to let that man hurt somebody that looked like him. Because he recognized that that was me too. Whether you believe in the stories or not. Get the message. But the divine still used him. Because a lot of us are sent, not born, sent. Because there's something that needs to be fixed. So don't fear. <clears throat> this isn't about fear. Because there's going to be changes. And they're going to have to pay what they owe. They're going to have to make a correction. This was built on top of something else that was already here. There's a reckoning coming. A cleansing. And those magic tricks that they use, they've been using it too long. See, they haven't updated their software. They've been using the same magic tricks with the same spell books. Whether you believe in it or not, you have to understand every piece of magic has truth and has some illusions in it. That's why they call it magic. Because they have to trick you in your face. They have to make you see these illusions, make you think it's real. Blah, blah, blah. All you have to keep saying to yourself is there is no spoon. Meaning it's what I want it to be. I know there are rules in this planet, universal, and rules of the land that I have to maneuver through. I have to respect those rules and work within those lines. But there is no spoon. Not on this realm. And not even on the next. And the next. And the next. Doesn't mean I can go kill everybody. Like, don't be stupid. But I know these are illusions. Because it's a part of the trick. <laughs> and since we have senses of humor, you think the divine doesn't. You don't think he knows <laughs> that if I want to test people, and I want to see if they're going to hear me. Why would I send them exactly what they think it's going to be and what it's going to look like? It's too easy. Too many people are just going to go along to get along. But the true believers, the ones really have my name in their heart. They're on my frequency. They can hear me. They're on the same vibration as me. They can feel that energy. They, they're, they're part of me. They can hear. They're going to hear and see me and do good works. Regardless. They're going to see that that space suit 
isn't what it, it looks like. It's what's inside of it. And they're going to say, oh yeah, she has braids. But she's an ascended master. Jesus was a carpenter as a profession. But he was also an ascended master. How else could he have walked on water? Or even giving giving his people the illusion he did. He had a soul that the divine is working with him. How else would they know that he's a part of the divine if he doesn't show them something divine, <laughs> something they've never seen? So, like I said, There's some healing that needs to happen afterwards. And some of us were sent. Because we have a message. We have work to do. And the divine wants some things done the right way. Turn some tables over. Change some things. Everything's not going to be the same as the way it was done before. Because that teacher is no longer here. And that ascended master did exactly what he was supposed to do. He gave everything. And he explained it. Whether people say it was in parables, songs. Rhyming, whatever. He taught. But they want you to focus on his death. Not on what he taught. And what he taught was so profound. What he showed was so profound. It was out of this world. Hmm. Like I say, he took him to Mars. <laughs> But they didn't understand that. <laughs> they didn't. Because a lot of them didn't even know what they were looking at. They didn't know what Superman was at the time. Later on, they came up with some characters. But you'd have to say Enoch wouldn't have been a superhero, an ascended master. They said he never touched death. Enoch went straight to the heavens. Whether you believe the story or not. Mary gave birth and never touched a man. Did she come here pregnant? She was told her son was an ascended master. He was going to be special to protect him. Born with that veil. There's a lot of us that were born with veils that were meant to be here on this realm to do certain things. And there's a lot of people here that are meant for destruction. There's a battle. And if you don't know that by now, just keep eating your steak and telling yourself 
that it tastes good. It's okay. The rest of us, remember, there is no spoon. And the Hulk is not going to come and shake your hand. That's comic book. That's old stories from different dimensions, different time frames, different timelines. This that's sorry. That's <clears throat> that's not what's going on now. Now is the time of no more illusions. Now is the time of wake the hell up. There is no spoon. <laughs>